afternoon everyone or whatever time you are watching this. Um, I promised a new YouTube yoga for a little while um, and I really wanted to do a yoga based on helping us for digestion. Everything is based on our digestion so if we are not digesting um, what is going in and that's not just food, that is our thoughts, that is the information we listen to, whether it's the news or what you're reading in the paper, what you've got on your Facebook feed. Um, it also the people we hang around with, our relationships um, and any other toxicity. So food, alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, things like that as well. Everything has to go through a digestive process. <clears throat> And if we are not able to digest that, as in if we are in a constant state of stress or fight or flight or resistance, anxiety, um, we're going to start to create problems in our digestive system. Holly and I have really been talking about this so much in our program, The New Way. The next one starts in two weeks. Um, so if you want to learn a little bit more about your digestion process through Ayurveda and movement, and how to actually create more flow state in your body so that you feel well and things move better, um, not just externally but internally as well, jump on the link that I'll provide and check out the information to join us for our second group of the new way. So this practice is all based around easing your digestion, creating some space, getting you feel good, and it's all based on twists as well. So let's get started. You'll need a block if you don't have a block, just find a really nice solid book. That will be fine. All right. We're going to, just as we start any practice, um, just start with some breathing. And we're going to start with some diaphragmatic breath. <clears throat> so when we work our diaphragmatic breath, what we're actually doing is allowing the diaphragm to massage into the liver. Now the liver is your like master organ and if this guy is not functioning properly then you're going to have problems from the inside out. I'm actually writing a blog on the liver at the moment um, which I'll also be sharing up as well. The breath is really powerful. The breath is our prana, our chi, our energy um, and when we use this breath, as I said, the diaphragm will actually massage into the liver. Um, and as I said, we want our liver to be functioning at full capacity. Again, stress, adversity, changes in our environment, everything like that is going to put pressure on our liver, whether or not you're drinking or eating processed foods as well. Our thoughts are going to create stagnation as well. And again, we want everything flowing um, and at ease. And this is what this practice is about. So I just invite you now to take this space. We're here for about half an hour today. And I want you to place your hands in your rib cage and I want you to just really fully breathe in for about four counts. Expand everything out. Now hold that breath in really powerful, like everything is blowing up like a balloon. And we're going to slowly exhale and you're going to feel the ribs start to pull in towards the belly button. And you're going to drive the chest in as well. So you're starting to close off the heart space and pull the belly button to the spine and pause. Inhale, expand. Pause. Now as you exhale, feel the chest start to cave in, the diaphragm and then the belly and really feel that internal massage going on here and pause. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times in your own breath here. Breathing in. Breathing out. I just want you to let that go now that your hands just fall by your side into a state of surrender and acceptance and acknowledgement of where we are right now. Let ourselves just ride the wave without trying to control where we need to be. 
And where we are right now is exactly where we need to be. Let go of any resistance to that thought. And let yourself lean in. Yield to whatever is going on right now with compassion. Accept whatever is going on right now with an open mind. And let yourself dive into appreciation and gratitude for all the things we do have rather than the things we don't. Take a breath in with that thought and open the mouth, let it go. Opening up the eyes. We're just going to lean into that left hand and whether or not you're in the hero pose or cross-legged, anchor down through your right hip as we start to take a lateral flexion to the left. Opening up the side rib cage of the left body, opening up into the space of the lungs, sorry, the right side. <laughs> so again, opening up into that right side of the body. And of course, the liver is on our right side underneath that diaphragm. So take a breath right in here, healing breath to your liver. And exhale, let it go. Slowly come back through the center. Now inhale the left arm up. Soften into that right arm as we now open up the space of the heart. Really feeling the space right in that left rib cage. Opening up into the lungs. Use your breath to guide you here as you take one more inhale. And exhale, let all that go. Now inhale, lift. And exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale. One more time each side. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. From here, a gentle twist. Right hand to left knee. And if you're on your knees, you can place your hand behind you or wrap it around, taking half a bind. Take a gentle twist here, keeping your spine nice and long. One more breath in. And exhale back to the center. Placing that left hand on the right knee, hand goes behind in half a bind or just behind you, depending on what your shoulders feel like today. So breathing in. And breathing out. One more breath in. And exhale, let that go. All right, I'm going to come straight up to a downward facing dog. So just take your time. Maybe a little bit of rolling through the wrists might feel nice. Tucking your toes. And then just lifting yourself up into your first down dog. And let's just bend one knee and bend the other creating a fair bit of movement here as you settle into this first dog pose today. Maybe it's not your first, who knows? And then from this dog pose, all we're going to do is just a little bit of movement through the spine. So inhale, slowly ripple through one vertebrae at a time. As you exhale, drop your knees, untucking the toes. Inhale, finding your cow pose. And then exhale, tuck your toes and lift back up, finding a downward facing dog. Again, inhale, ripple through to find that high plank. Exhale, dropping the knees slow. Your inhale will land you into your cow pose. And exhale, roll back through slowly, lifting up downward facing dog. Adding on this time, inhale, ripple through from all the way. Through to plank pose, exhale, bend into those elbows, come all the way down to the ground. Inhale, find your first baby cobra, hold this here. So noticing what that feels like into the spine, the toes are untucked and exhale, come back down. Inhale again, baby cobra and gently look over your right shoulder. Exhale, come back down. We'll do that again to the other side, inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, look over your left. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, come back down. 
Tucking your toes, wrap the elbows by the side of the body, squeeze your quads, come straight up, finding your first high plank. And finding some length here in that high plank. So from here, we're actually going to drop that left knee down. We're going to inhale, gather the right hand up above the right shoulder, and exhale, twist through right hand threads. Inhale, lift that right hand all the way up. If you feel like you're warm enough, you're welcome to come into full variation of uh, side plank. Inhale, bring that right hand all the way up, and exhale, threading that under. Inhale, bring that hand all the way up, and exhale, bring the right hand down, and then find your way back through to your downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and exhale, soften back down. Inhale, ripple through, come all the way through to your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga this time, leaning forward so that you're lean, now driving with the crown of the head. Now inhale, sweep the chest up, pull the shoulders back, the quads are off the floor. Experience this beautiful back bend. And exhale, come back over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple through, find your high plank pausing here. Then dropping the right knee down, I have to think about that then. Right hand goes down, inhale, left hand goes high. Exhale, sweep that left hand underneath. And inhale, bring that back up. Again, that option is there for your full side plank. Exhale, you go under, twisting through the obliques and inhale, lifting back up. One more time, exhale, going underneath. Inhale, lifting back up. This time, exhale, hold your high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, press back through to a crouch position. Inhale, shift through, high plank. Exhale, half a push up. Inhale, press back, high plank. Exhale, push back to the knees. Three more times. Inhale, ripple through, high plank. Exhale, half a push up. Inhale, back up, high plank. And exhale, push back to the knees. What do we say? Two more. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, half a push up. Inhale, back up, exhale. Back to crouch, last time. Inhale, shoot through, high plank. Exhale, this time hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, sweep the chest through, exhale. Down and facing dog, you should be getting warm. Do a little twist through the body here, go around down through your left hand, bring your right hand to your left <coughs> ankle. You can bend your right knee as you start to look underneath your left armpit here. You can either stay here, or have a practice and a play of floating that right foot off the ground, holding for five. You are meant to wobble and fall here. This is just a little bit of fun. Don't be so hard on ourselves. It feels good to have a laugh. Three, two, and one. Downward facing dog, changing sides. Bringing that left hand over to the right ankle. Soften your left knee. And either staying here, or just here, Pottering with balance as you lift that left ankle off and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple through higher plank. Staying with that balance for a bit. Bring your left hand out in front of you. All right, for three point staff pose, and maybe start to lift up that right leg. Hold for five, four, three, Two, one, bring that left elbow into that right knee, working the twist for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale that arm and leg back out. One more time, exhale, cross for five, four, three, two, one. Chaturanga Dandasana, shift forward. Exhale to elbow height. Inhale, sweep the chest through. Exhale, downward pacing dog. Nice work everyone, inhale, ripple through, come to find high plank. From your high plank, you can always drop down to your knees too, bringing that right hand forward, holding here, maybe lifting that left leg up, pause, shoulder is stuck, bring right elbow to left knee, round the spine, hold, do your best you can here, three, two, one, inhale back out, exhale, hold five, four, three, Two, high plank, exhale, low plank. 
Breathe in, cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down dog. Oh. Walk your feet back to your hands. No, your hands back to your feet. Breathe in, high lift. Breathe out, soften and fold. Leave your left hand down, inhale the right arm higher, twisting again. Exhale, soften. Use a block here if you need to. Inhale and exhale. I want you to forget about what it looks like. I want you to tune into you, not to tune into me. I want you to notice what this is feeling like in your body and your digestion. Let go of any comparison, let go of any right or wrong, let go of striving, let go of the end goal because there is none. One more inhale. And as you exhale, we soften and fold, let it go. Slowly from here, inhale, find a halfway lift, warming up into our hamstring, shoulders draw back. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale again, finding a halfway lift. And exhale, soften and fold. One more time, inhale, find that halfway lift. If you're feeling strong through your core, bring your arms all the way out in front. Hold here for five. Belly to spine for four, for three, two, press through the heels, inhale, come all the way up and exhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, sweeping the arms up above the head, exhale, soften and fold, walk all the way out, landing yourself in your high plank, breathe in, protract, exhale, shift forwards. Breathe in, cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down dog. Inhale, bring the right leg behind us. And exhale, bend and open. Know that at any time you can skip any part of the practice just by pausing, giving yourself some time out. That is what yoga is all about. Listening to you, not listening to me. Inhale, kick that heel away. Exhale, bring right knee over to left tricep or elbow or wrist. Pause. Inhale, that right leg comes back. And exhale, bring the right to the right. Inhale, sweep that right leg up behind us. This time, exhale, bring the right knee towards the nose and thread the right foot over to the left side of your mat. Come into the blade edge of your right foot and shift yourself forward into plank pose. Either staying here or start to spin on that medial edge of your left foot and open yourself up into our first twisting pose for the triangle. Breathe. Right hand stacked under right shoulder. Legs are strong. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left hand comes down. Right knee to nose. Step right foot outside right hand and drop the left knee down. Reach your hands out in front of you and start to explore this deep hip stretch. There's no right or wrong here. Maybe you move forward, maybe you move backwards. Maybe twist a little to this side. Beautiful. From where you are, plug down through that right heel. And we're going to inhale, sweep those arms up above the head and exhale, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Pushing down through that right heel. If it feels good for you, you can bring that hand behind. Either run it down your back leg or half a bind and inhale, lifting up. Stay for your exhale. From where you are, come back to the center, inhale. And start to, possibly if you want to, you can pat up that back knee. If not, reach your right arm back and catch your left leg. And then start to come up. You can use your hand on a block if you like. And just stretching through your quadricep muscles here. Don't worry if you don't catch that back leg. It's not about that. Just do the best you can. That's all we are looking for in yoga. Otherwise, we put too much pressure on ourselves. Take a breath in. Do you exhale slowly. Let that leg go back. Push through that front heel, inhale up high, crescent lunge, breathe. Beautiful, from your high lunge, bring your hands to your heart space. And exhale, find a strong back leg, belly to spine. 
Take a breath in, pushing through your right heel, not your right toes. And exhale, twist, bringing left elbow to right knee. You can always drop that back knee down at any point. I want you to really spin open your right shoulder here. So your left elbow points to the ground and your right elbow points up to the sky. Try to come out of those right toes as much as possible if you can here. Really twisting through those internal organs, creating space in your internal landscape. So breathe, send your breath here. It's quite challenging to send that breath into these areas of room twist, but do the best you can. Take a breath in, stay for your exhale, and bring the left hand down to the ground and continue to open as we spin that right hand all the way towards the sky. Breathing deep here, really feel that beautiful twist through the body. Take one more breath, stay for your exhale. From here, we're going to bring that left elbow back to the right knee. Slowly step our left foot to meet our right foot, coming into a chair twist. So this is all about our twist today. So finding our way into this chair twist posture. Couple of different variations. Um, today, you're welcome to stay here or give cro uh, side crow a go. Side crow is a really nice, easy entry from this point. So start to lean forward into your toes and bring the hands to the side of the mat. The fingers spread wide and your left elbow is hooking into the side of your right knee. You don't change from that twisted position from here to here. And as your fingers spread wide, I invite you to create a bit of a shelf by wrapping the elbows inwards. Tip forward and then maybe those feet start to lift. Maybe they start to spread apart. Maybe you face plant. That's okay. I face plant all the time. Wherever you are is okay. Have a play. You're at home. Take a breath in slowly, come back, make your way back up, twisted chair, take a breath in, and inhale, Ukkatasana, chair pose. Take a full breath in here, and as you exhale, come all the way down, finding Ukkatasana, boat pose. Take a full breath in, stay for your exhale, interlace those hands together, inhale, Exhale, drop the fingers towards the right. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, and exhale. If you want a bit more, the legs can go too. So as you exhale, finding your low boat. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, sorry, I've got that wrong. Exhale, one more. Inhale and exhale. Holding the backs of your knees. Start to rock and roll three times. And on the third one, we're going to rock and roll, cross the ankles, shoot ourselves back through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Ah. And exhale, down dog. I've got to remember that now. <laughs> so take a few breaths in. Pause if you need to pause. <sighs> How do you feel? Let's take that to the other side. So short little practice today. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, bend and open. Notice how that feels. Plug into both the hands, fingers spread wide. Inhale, kick with the heel. Exhale, bring that left knee all the way over to the right tricep. Pause. Inhale, shoot the leg up. Exhale, left goes to right and pause. Shoulders open, wrist, belly to spine. Breathe in, leg kicks away. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger curl. Can you keep your shoulders there as you thread that left foot through? Blade edge of the left foot. Hold here in your high plank. Feel your core engage, your serratus and your obliques and then spin open. So both legs are strong here and then lift up, inhale, right arm lifts, pushing through that um, base of the left hand. All the joints are stuck to you. Take one more breath. Slowly float that left knee up. Knee to nose, step through. Drop your right left knee, sorry, drop your right knee down, push into your left heel. Duh. Inhale, low lunge. Take a breath in. And exhale, we twist right arm forward, left arm back. Notice this delicious twist through the spine. So we're just getting this side ready for where we went on the other side, if I can remember. Beautiful, placing that hand down onto the leg or half of mine. Inhale, maybe open some more. 
breathe come back to your breath just in case it's gone anyway your breath is your yoga inhale come back to the center the hands come up and just adjust if you need to start to bend that back leg catch the back foot if it's there for you if it's not don't stress remember things happen in time when they're ready right we place so much pressure on ourselves for things to look a certain way we forget that the journey and the process is the place where we learn and that there is no end point we are always learning you know the more we learn the less we know be completely okay with exactly where you're at slowly unhook that back leg tucking the back toes we take an inhale come up to find our high crescent lunge so breathing here bring those hands to the heart space take an inhale as you exhale find that arrowhead lunge palms are pressing into the heart the back leg is strong push down through your left heel breathe in and exhale twist right elbow to left knee here finding this really strong but really nourishing lunge twist into a prayer hand so your left elbow is shining towards the sky right elbow towards the ground opening the left heart space towards the ceiling here back leg is strong take a full breath in here and stay for your exhale good looking down can you float your right foot to your left staying right here in that chair twist i'm going to turn the faces where you guys stay as you are so continue to press into this chair twist here nice and strong either staying here or start to come onto your toes the hands move to the left side of your mat, fingers spread wide, pushing your right elbow into the side of your left outer knee and leaning forward, creating a shelf, wrapping your left elbow in. Maybe those feet come up, maybe the feet start to split. Hold wherever you are, maybe you're face planted, give yourself a little bit of a laugh here. Hold for three, two, one. Slowly make your way back up to chair pose good take a full breath in stay for your exhale slowly come all the way down coming to find our way to navasana beautiful working through here all right we're going to come all the way down now holding our low boat pose hold here for five a little bit of core work for four three two and one right leg goes to the ground we're going to hold on to that left leg and inhale exhale change inhale exhale change inhale exhale change now keeping your shoulders off the ground best possible and just working through a little bit of core work here go going for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one start to rock and roll we're going to land in a hovered bear all right so we're going to cross the feet at the top plant the hands down and land in this position beautiful knees stack under the hips so we're going to slowly lift up the right hand and we're going to kick the left leg through lead with the heel and pull that right arm back so we're working into a little bit of kicks in here inhale come back all the way through here and pause on the exhale so we're going to twist kick the heel through come back hovered bear inhale twist kick the heel through exhale come back hovered bear inhale twist exhale hover bear inhale twist exhale hover bear great one for the core great one for the shoulders and really getting into that digestion with our twist we'll go for eight a little bit quicker if you've got it for seven for six for five good for four three two and one hold here hover there shoulders lift hold for five four three two one cross your feet send them through well done. Just gonna check that time. Breathe for a moment. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna do a little twist before we finish. 
Yep. So we're actually might come into a shoelace twist. Bring your left shin, um, sorry, yeah, bring your left shin in front. You're either cross-legged or full shoelace pose, wherever works for you, both sit bones on the ground. From here, we're going to place our right hand on our left knee. Take an in-breath, use your exhale to open, either keeping the hand on there or use the back of the arm to create this delicious twist in the body and the spine. Try to just concentrate on your breath here. I'm a little bit sweaty, I'm guessing you guys might be too, so try to come back to your prana, your energy. When you come back to slowing it down, you're done. Breathe in, breathe out, twist a little more. Breathe in, breathe out, twist a little more. Slowly come back to center, keep the legs exactly as they are, breathe in and exhale, just fold forward to your degree. There's no um, pushing here. Again, allow ourselves to step out of comparison, comparison with ourselves more than anything. We are so quick to judge ourselves. We are so quick to go back to thoughts on how we once were or what we could once achieve. And that does not matter. What matters is here and now in this moment, Give yourself some credit because it feels good. Inhale, come all the way up and exhale, change sides. So this is quite a short practice. I definitely recommend following it with one of my yin sequences. That's, I've got many 30 minute ones as well because everything is about balance and that's exactly what we talk about on the new way. Um, as I said, the registration for the next one opening in two weeks. Um, limited numbers as well. So if you're interested, I'll post the link below. Bring your left hand to your right knee and turn, take an inhale. And as you turn and twist on the exhale, find a little bit more twist through the body. This is a really delicious way to really nourish our internal organs. You twist through the spine, send your thoughts towards your digestions and healing thoughts. Remember that if we are not digesting, the information that we take in and on board and we are constantly in a state of stress or we're feeling frustrated or unsettled that's going to create unease in the body we're going to be in a constant state of our sympathetic nervous system which means that our digestion and our liver is not going to be working the way it means to, it means to. therefore inhale Exhale, soften. Things start to get stuck and we start to manifest things in our external body. So when we find things going wrong in our external body and we can see them, rather than blame the things around us, are we able to tune in and actually take responsibility and be honest with ourselves so that we are able to heal you know, too quickly we shove things down and not worry about it or not think where it comes from. You know, there's that um, old saying, the issue is in the tissues. It's so true. Let's take one more breath. Stay if you exhale. Slowly come all the way up to seated. And I'm only going to take through a little Shavasana today. If you need to stay longer, I invite you to stay longer. It might be nice actually to let the knees drop open, hand on belly, hand on heart, and really feel that energy from your hands. Travel right through your belly, your sacral chakra, into your root chakra. So your lower chakra regions, this is all to do with your digestion our groundedness, our wellness, our security, the way we feel about ourselves. These are the solid guides. And this is where we need healing right now, especially in these times. So take these next few moments to just give yourself a little credit. Breathe a sense of ease. Trust that where we are is exactly where we need to be. Instead of fighting it constantly, instead of trying to be somewhere else, instead of trying to fix things, lean in. 
and yield. Just let it be. And if you need to stay longer here today, if you are coming up and finishing the practice, gently bring your knees together. You might want to give yourself a nice little hug and a smile from the inside out. Roll your ankles. Gently rock and roll your way up to seated or just turn to your side. Cross your legs and move in. And take a couple of breaths here just to notice how you feel. May your shoulders soften down your back, your spine be long. And in order to heal, we need to feel. Darren Baptist said that in his book, Journey into Power. In order to heal, you need to feel. So give yourself permission. Allow yourself to go there with compassion and kindness rather than judgment or comparison. See what's under the layers, see what we can find in order to create a little bit more clarity, in order for our internal organs and digestions to do their thing, and in order for our external body to heal from the inside out. Bring your hands gently into your heart space, honouring your own practice, the space we share together. Bring the thumbs gently to the mouth if you want the words you speak, for they become the house you live in. And the thumbs gently to the third eye as you pay attention to the thoughts that create your reality with love and light. So much gratitude. Namaste. Thanks everyone. If you enjoyed the practice, please like and subscribe. It helps me to help you. Um, and if you're interested in the second round of the new way, as I said, we've got the second round starting in two weeks. We had 18 um, amazing people on the first one and Holly and I are just loving it. Um, a beautiful share. She's an incredible teacher and Ayurvedic coach and Ayurvedic wellness coach. Um, and I've been helping three people understand what's going on in their bodies, how to listen to their bodies, what we can pick up on through movement um, and how to move when we're feeling a certain way. So if we're feeling anxious or feeling stressed, feeling feisty or fiery or sluggish and blah, there's ways to tune in and to understand that it is not the same every single day. So join us on the second round of the new way. So registrations are opening pretty soon. I'll pop the link down below. Again, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. I hope you feel well and nourished after that practice. Namaste.